Hi guys, it's Deborah. Welcome to my channel. So today is day seven of my January Keto Vor challenge using a high fat Keto Vor diet as well as a 20 hour fast, four hour eating window protocol for this month of January, 30 days. All right, today is the end of my week one and I'm gonna share my weigh in results, my weight loss results, and also I'm gonna compare my week one to this challenge to my week one of my alternate day fasting challenge. So if you're interested in that, let's go. All right, as usual, what did that scale do today? Here it is. So, week one weight loss results, 3.4 pounds. My goodness, I am so happy with that. 3.4 pounds in one week is incredible. So, what I decided to do, or what I did this morning was I was reflecting on the week one results that I've got from this cha uh, challenge to the week one results I got when I started my alternate day fasting uh, journey. So what I'm gonna do is just compare the weight loss, the changes in my body fat percentage, the changes in my muscle mass percentage, um, a little bit about the protocol differences, my activity level, and most importantly, the food. All right, so weight loss was, like I said, 3.4 pounds on this protocol and compared to 4.6 pounds on my alternate day fasting protocol. So that's a difference of 1.2 pounds, something like that, over a pound. And when I was thinking back about the differences in my life during the, these two different experiences, when I started my alternate day fasting journey, I was at a really low place and I was very sedentary. I was not, I had a, a, a part-time job that I did for about three hours a day, three or four days a week. And then other than that, I would go home and rest and I slept a lot during those days. I was just going through, um, I was kind of at a rock bottom, physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially. So, you know, all of that was very stressful. So my activity level was bare minimal. With my January challenge, using the 20 hour fast, four hour eating window protocol, I go to the gym three to four days a week. So that was a significant, that is a significant difference. So my body fat percentage has dropped a little bit using this 20 hour, this 24 protocol. Whereas on my alternate day fasting first week dropped significantly. I, my body fat percentage was quite a bit higher but there was a significant change and with my body mass or sorry my muscle mass percentage on the 24 protocol did go up a bit but went up a lot on my first week of my alternate day fasting journey so so another huge difference between my this uh protocol that i'm using for this january challenge so for the 24 proto fasting protocol, I have been restricting what I'm eating because I'm following a ketovore diet. So, you know, high fat, z almost zero carbs. I'm keeping my carbs to around 20 grams per day or less and only eating within a four hour eating window. With my 
alternate day fasting that first week, I literally ate whatever I wanted, how much I wanted, and I didn't restrict anything. There was, in fact, that's what brought me to alternate day fasting was it was a it was a simple protocol and could eat whatever i wanted and from the research that i had done you were guaranteed to lose weight so that's exactly what brought me to alternate day fasting so what are some of my conclusions coming now the end of week one comparing my results from the week of this challenge compared to alternate day fasting, my first week of alternate day fasting. Well, my conclusion is that fasting is, is, is the thing. So, um, I would say that my fast, that fasting protocol, implementing a fasting protocol into a weight loss journey or a health journey is is the way to go. Um, my alternate day fasting journey was I reaped the benefits off the charts for me. Uh, I have heard people say things about alternate day fasting that I just find bizarre. Um, you know that it can hurt your body and all this. It can mess with your metabolism. But it was the complete opposite for me. You know, I don't know where other people get their information, but I lived, I followed a very strict alternate day fasting journey for four months, 16 weeks, 120 days. And yeah, so my alternate day fasting journey was such a massive contributor to turning my life around, healing my body, getting physical, balancing my hormones. I had started on this uh, journey to heal my gut. So, you know, I, and so much more. The amount of time I spent in fat burning mode or ketosis was, it was so therapeutic. Um, I know that my hormones got balanced and you know through the different stages of fasting the longer I fat you know I was fasting a minimum of 36 hours I was in hardcore autophagy every other day I know my body healed it was it was a dramatic impact on my life and all areas of my life really so Though I believe any form of fasting is therapeutic, I believe fasting is medicine. I, I have heard people uh, say that alternate day fasting isn't good for you. I find that bizarre. Any form of fasting is therapeutic. And I know that alternate day fasting healed things, caused no damage. I am so much better off in so many ways from alternate day fasting and I miss it. I am going to finish this challenge and to be honest the protocol that I'm following right now this 20 hour fast four hour eating window is really is not hard for me at all. I don't I actually very rarely do I notice any kind of difficulty I guess after, uh, you know, starting this off the heels of fasting for 36 hours every other day, it just, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel difficult for me. It doesn't feel challenging. So I'm loving this challenge that I'm on. I find the 20 hour fast, four hour eating window really easy to do, but I'm also spending a lot of time figuring out how to continue that weight loss through a calorie deficit, through tracking my calories and my macros and making sure those numbers are all dialed in. And I don't mind doing that. It's kind of interesting for me to do that during this journey, but I don't want to do that long-term. 
eating whatever I wanted on alternate day fasting and experiencing that significant weight loss and all the other benefits of alternate day fasting. I will definitely be back on alternate day fasting and I'm learning a lot about this ketovore and the effect that it's having on my on my metabolism and probably I've been I am insulin resistant and maybe metabolic syndrome and glucose this and insulin that and I know I know that these are all really important things for me so um, what, I, what I'm learning on this challenge I may bring that back into my alternate day fasting journey I am also going to once I finish my 30 day challenge I'm going to definitely do a comparison the 24 protocol versus alternate day fasting and the pros and cons because there's pros and cons to everything there are definitely pros and or some cons to alternate day fasting and a lot of pros more pros for me and there's also a lot of pros of this 24 protocol and there's also a lot of cons so I'm excited to see the end of you know when I close out this 30-day challenge see the results put it all together and then I'll make a decision of what I'm going to do if I will continue on with the protocol that I'm on or if I'm going to go back to alternate day fasting anyways guys thank you for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow